Hello everybody, welcome back. Now we will be making some tutorials on VLOOKUP function. We shall learn from basic to advanced VLOOKUP features applications with real-time examples. In this tutorial, we will start from simple VLOOKUP function and look into its basic application. So let's get into it. In this Excel sheet, as you can see, I have some name and their respective country. So what VLOOKUP function does is it looks upon the character name from one column and reads its data from the another. So we will extract a name from our list, let's say Linda. We will search the country that Linda belongs to. So for that, we will use VLOOKUP function. So what VLOOKUP says is it first asks for the lookup value. So our lookup value is Linda. As we are going to search Linda from the name list. So let's tag Linda as our lookup value. And when we insert comma, then we jump into table array. So this is whole table that we will be searching for. So this is our table array. And in the column index number, the column that name lies is the first column and the column that country lies is the second column. So we will be searching the name of the country that Linda belongs. So our name of the column is two. So in the range lookup function, true is for approximate match and false is for exact match. Actually, we use approximate match for the large data set for which we are not sure about our VLOOKUP value. And uh, as our data set is very small here, we will use exact match. So we mostly use exact match. So in this way, we can find that Linda belongs to Indonesia. So if we insert uh, any other character names, then we can find that Ram belongs to Nepal, which is directly extracted from the table array that we have mentioned here. So now we will be learning some more features of the VLOOKUP function. In this sheet, we have some details of interns in a company named Civil Design. We have their ID number, the name, gender, age, country and passport number so I want to add another column here as we have just a name we will be adding another column as surname so for that we have to separate this column into two different columns so let's select all these names here and we go to the data option here and in the data we can find text to columns option so we will be selecting delimited and in the delimited tab we can find space here so that as we can see in the data preview panel, the name and the surname are separated by your column. So let's just finish this. So as you can see, we have a new column named as surname. So let's just copy all this data and we can paste it here as transpose. When we are transposing the data, we are transposing it from rows to column or column to rows. Let's just get rid of these boxes. This ID tab we will be extracting the ID list from our table area here. So for that we will be creating a drop down menu here. So to make a drop down list we should go to the data option and data validation. In the data validation we have allowed any value to be entered here. We will change it into list and for the source data this is our drop down source with enter we will be leaving input message blank in the error alert we can say error select valid data okay now as you can see if we enter anything other than our id number then an error message pops up so we can directly select any data from our drop down menu so we will be using VLOOKUP function to look up other values from this ID number. So just use VLOOKUP. As you can see, it is asking for lookup value. As we are looking for other details through the ID number, ID number is a lookup value. When we hit F4, we are making the ID number an absolute. In the table array, the whole table is our list of data. So we will be choosing any data name 
from this table array so we are just selecting whole of this table and again if we hit enter uh, if we hit f4 then we are making the whole table as absolute value in the column index number as you can see id lies in the column 1 name lies in the column 2 surname 3 and so on so we are looking for the name we will be entering 2 and in the range lookup as we have discussed earlier we will be entering false so as you can see the id number of 11208 belongs to yugi so again we will be extracting other data from this formula just dropping down the list i can copy the formula now only thing changing is the no, the column number because other things are constant id number is constant table array is constant so as surname lies in the column 3 will be changing to as 3 and so on changing it as 5 now our data sets are ready so we can extract any information if we can enter the id number so this is the simple use of vlookup function now we will be looking into nested vlookup function as i have added another data over here we have name surname and superpowers as you can see we have searched for the details of the interns from the id number we do not have any id number in this data so we will be using any other data sets in this given range of information to find the information about superpowers so in this case we will be using nested vlookup function and when we are using another vlookup function here to look this we are using a nested vlookup function so as you can see this is our vlookup value the the whole set of this formula is our lookup value as this value is going to give us yugi and the name yugi is going to give us its superpower so we will be entering this name this formula as our lookup value and in the table array we are extracting data from whole of this table so let's just select this and in the column index number we are finding about the superpowers so as the name lies in the column one column two and superpower in column three so in the range lookup function again false so as you can see yugi has no superpower so it, it has been mentioning none if we change the id number now we can see id number three belongs to homelander and he has the superpower of laser so in this way we can create a nested vlookup function to to look up for the value which is not in the main table array but is in some secondary data set here is an important point to be noted in vlookup function suppose we are using a surname to find the superpower so let's just extract the name front so i'll be using vlookup function so as this is our lookup value now our table array will be this much because always our lookup value must be in column number one as previously our lookup value was the name in this case our lookup value is surname so always our lookup value must lie in the column number one so in this case we will be just using our table array into this much data so in this tutorial we have learned some basic applications of vlookup we will be digging into some more advanced feature in the next tutorial See you in the next video.